Hey, welcome back everybody. Thank you so much for dropping by. And today what I'll do is show you how to make the best organic and best comparison chocolate that anything on the market right now that I believe. I've worked a hard time on this and I've tried different recipes and made my own. So without any ado, let me show you how. First of all, I use organic coconut oil. Okay, there's several out there that you could use. Uh, one cup of it, and don't worry, I'll put the recipe down below. Uh, next ingredient is protein powder uh, without any sugar, completely organic. The Garden Life, which I will put a picture here. And the next ingredient is one cup. Sorry, I only had two half cups left, so I had to use two. One cup of cacao powder. I always have trouble saying that, you know, because you have it in French and you have it in English. So anyways, uh, organic. I'll put a picture of that also. And then you have what I believe is one of the best sweeteners on the market, sugar, which is has anti-inflammatory, uh, you know, purposes uh, towards your body, organic also. And to finish off, I have one teaspoon, which in this case, it would be two teaspoons of pure vanilla. Those small type, it costs, that's I think the most expensive part is that vanilla extract. And I have my moles, which I had uh, my son uh, order for me for about $8 on Amazon, which is really, really cheap. And without any ado, um, let's get started with the recipe. I'll lead you through it, you know, in the steps. And guys, if you like this, help me out, subscribe and hit that like button. It sure helps um, YouTube to analyze my video and say, hey, this is something we're gonna share with everybody. All right, so see you in a sec. All right, um, this is the first time I'm showing how to cook something, so this should be interesting. So first of all, I got an old pot, old pan, should I say, uh, that um, we've been using for years. This was about the only one that was good size enough to take this bowl. Why am I using this bowl? For a very special reason, so it doesn't stick. It's much easier in glass too. So, okay, let's put in first the coconut oil. That's the first stage. Now you gotta wait for this to totally melt before you add anything else, which is the sugar afterwards. Try to spread it out as much as I can. And trust me, I'll push this uh, video fast forward as we go. All right, so it's almost completely melted. Okay, as you could see. Now I'm gonna take a, I don't know how you call that in English, but a little Swiffer I call it. I'll add my 50 grams of sugar or one third of a cup in it. And just whisk it till everything's really melted. And one thing I forgot to say is very important. Just make sure that your fire is like uh, between low and medium, it, not high. This has to go down, you know, smoothly. Once that is done, what we're gonna do is we're gonna stop the fire from going and we're gonna put the rest of the stuff in like the um, uh, protein powder, the cacao, and whisk this until it becomes a smooth chocolate. Okay, I'll put pause on this till I finish whisking it. Now, um, yeah, some of you are gonna say it's not melted completely, that's why people use honey. But honey is a sugar, and it's not like anti-inflammatory like uh, monk fruit, and not as good. So uh, let's put in the protein powder. We stop the fire. Put in the cacao powder or cocoa. 
whatever you want to call it and then start whisking it I'm just touching the edge here so I don't burn myself oh you could see it now it's already starting to turn a great looking chocolate too and all that sugar is going to mix up with it so it's all going to you know incorporate itself within so uh, will it fall in? no it won't okay good and two teaspoons of the vanilla pure vanilla extract I love this stuff it tastes great all right so let's whisk away and I'll be right back till it's all perfectly mixed all right so as you could see right now I stopped the fire once the sugar was in and we brisked it a bit and um, it's nice and smooth now so thing is what you have to do your next step is let me get rid of this remove the chocolate put on a towel okay and from there all right at this point I'll just pour it in just hope I don't make a mess here wow I'm getting good at this watch me make a mess out of this one today all right uh, one of the last steps that I do to take out any bitter taste I take about one teaspoon of it and I spread it right over it so the first thing your tongue does catch is the sugar once you put it in your mouth uh, tastes really sweet at the time since this type of cho uh, chocolate this type of sugar is really sweet so you do that on both and the only step left is you stick it into the freezer and uh, let the chocolate uh, do the rest to freeze up you don't leave it in there too long like let's say I'd say 10-15 minutes depending on your freezer uh, okay let's print this there you go I, I take about 4 grams which is 1 teaspoon and like I said that's the first thing your tongue does taste when it takes the bite out of the chocolate so if there's any bitter taste you won't you won't feel it all right so after 10 minutes in the freezer that's all you need uh, this is the outcome on one of them this uh, haven't turned this one over yet this one's going to be a little bit more messy I think oh it still makes nice little squares all right so I'm going to be going to the drawing board and um, giving you a heads up on how much each of these squares compared to this type of chocolate bar okay and we're going to be doing some comparison of how much protein there is in one of them and how much sugar compared and other things that you may not want in a chocolate bar all right when i tell you i'm going to the drawing board i'm really serious about it <laughs> so basically just quick calculation since I put 50 grams and one teaspoon of sugar afterwards of sugar I calculated the 54 grams in the cacao 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 still having issues with that I'm gonna have to go on Google and say it, learn how you say it anyways there is 125 grams of it 
25 grams of protein in it and 75 grams of carbs for those who are on keto diet. And for the protein powder, 150 grams in that full cup that I put in, there's 100 grams of protein. And this is not a, just a, a part protein or not a complete, it's really a complete protein from this protein powder. And, uh, you know, we're talking uh, organic vegetables, not meat, and full protein. So it's good to know. 23 carbs in the total one cup. In the coconut oil, no protein, no carbs. So it's just like medium chain fats and long chain fat, which are good for the body. So my total chocolate weight was 450 grams. So basically, I just did a quick calculation. If there's 25 grams complete of protein, or in this case, 100 grams, divide by 450, multiplied by 100, gives me a total. I divide by 5 for 10 grams, since it's 50 grams, and multiply by 4, gives me about 17, 8 point grams. So never mind the full calculations. If we take the baseline of that chocolate, if you remember, here it is again. On 40 grams of chocolate, on 70% cacao, you have 20 grams of carbs and 3 grams of protein, not even a complete protein, but a part protein, and 12 grams of sugar in the whole chocolate bar. Next thing is, on my chocolate, of about 450 grams, if we take 40 grams of it, because we're, we're basing ourselves on 40 grams, same thing as theirs. My chocolate would have 17.3 grams of carbs, so a little bit less carbs in there, so great for a keto diet. And as protein, you would have, I'd say, 18.5 to 19 grams of a complete protein. A complete protein, almost 20 grams, that's more than some people take for breakfast in the morning. They think they're taking two eggs and a toast and they have 30 grams of protein, which is not even close to 15. Because each egg is about 6 grams of protein. So that's 12, the, the bread, the 15, 18 about. They, they're not even close to 20 grams. And we're close to the sugar, 9.6 grams, compared to the 12 grams of protein in the normal sugar that we're talking about. And this is one of the good chocolate bars, you know, that are good on the market. As I couldn't find any better but we're having a lot less sugar almost a full teaspoon left so the rest would be to take a look at um, the chocolate bar again see what's inside here it is again now if we take a look at that we see that it's using cane sugar cane sugar is not good for your tummy it'll get your gut microbe upset it's not good for it. You'll have your, let's say you'll have a, your, your upset tummy. Just put it that way. So when you put all of that aside and everything else that you could find in, you know, just a normal chocolate bar on the, the, uh, the market, like a Kit Kat or anything like that, we're not even in that category. Even if we take the best chocolate bars, like I believe this one is one of the good ones out there, uh, with 70, there's also 85, which is a little bit less, uh, you know, sugar in it too still doesn't even get close to what I've just made. Yeah, there's a little trouble behind it into making it. It'll take you about 10 minutes and a little bit of waiting between. But hell man, 22 grams of protein, almost 20 grams of a complete protein in that chocolate bar. And with great sugar, that at least you know the sugar you're putting in, no comparison. So that, that's it for those who were requesting to know my recipe, this is it after working a few times and making the best that I could out of it. Hope that helps, guys. Again, if you like it, you know, just pet that little like button. It likes to do it likes to be pet. And it's gonna help my channel a lot. Right? Take care guys and have a good day.